Hi, my name is Alexandra Ayubiak, and I play Verilyn in Aloe Vera. Um, how is a regular day for me like? <laughs> a regular day for me is a lot of chores and a lot of work on the professional side. Um, when I wake up in the morning, it's on my feet in the kitchen, making sure my son is fed, he's taking his bath, he's doing what he's supposed to do. So a regular day is usually very chaotic and is full of chores. <laughs> um, what are the what are some of the challenges I've encountered um, since raising a child? I think is um, fortunately for me, I haven't encountered very severe or dire challenges. Um, I think that most of the opportunities that have come my way, I believe, have come my way because I'm a mother. Um, so honestly, I'm grateful for his um, presence in my life because some of those opportunities, I don't know if without him, I would have been able to have it. So for me, it's been more positive than it's been negative. Um, hmm. What? How long should people date? before they get married. I think it really depends on the individual. Um, some people have dated eight years and they've gotten married and after a year, it wasn't going anywhere. Others met six months. It was so real, it was so intense. And so they, they're still together. I think it's really, you know, between the two of you, if you meet somebody that sees life the same way you do and you guys have the same value systems and you guys really understand each other on a certain level, then it becomes a very easy thing to do immediately. So I don't know. Me, for me personally, I think I'll do maybe two years, one year just enjoying the dating phase and being courted, and maybe the next year just planning a life together and understanding our family dynamics and how all of that can sync if we are to get married. So, um, fortunately or unfortunately for us, um, just when we're about to promote the film, we had this pandemic take over our entire lives. So, I mean, um, very few people to a very large extent have still been able to see the movie. So we're hoping that when everything clears up, we'll have a proper promotion, a uh, proper premiere so that people can really appreciate the labor of love that has gone into every aspect of this film. My life has um, not really particularly changed much. I think I, I have a lot of people like sliding into my DMs, asking me, very, being very nice to me telling me how well I did in the movie. And I'm grateful to all those people who have been kind enough to take time to share their um, positive feedback with me. So I've seen a lot of, I've made a lot of new friends on social media as a result of the film. And I'm even more open to like opportunities of that nature as a result of the film. Um, am I looking into going, yeah, I want to pursue acting more seriously. Um, hopefully when I've been able to establish myself as a good actor, a great actress, I want to look into a production company to produce some content myself, short films, feature films, um, animations, and things like that also, because I've always been very, very passionate about film. Growing up, film was very extraordinary for me because my brother used to use film to explain so many things about life to me. Transformers is one of my favorite, favorite films. And I remember growing up, my my brother used Transformers to explain to me how um, our angels protect us. You know, how Bumblebee was assigned to Sean Both specifically because of his mission. And so growing up, I always felt that film had a way, had a way of shaping society. Film had a way of informing our mentality, our mindsets on certain issues. So having that like experience at the back of my mind, I want to be able to give the younger generation and the world at large experiences like that through my own films. I, I'm hoping to do a book adaptation, two films I love so much. Uh, I don't want to say too much here because I don't know. <laughs> but if I'm saying it here and anybody wants to come on this journey with me, you're welcome. But I want to do an adaptation for Ama Ata Edu's book changes it's one of my favorite books and another local author evelyn owusu the breath of fate and i'm excited about putting those two things together i've always been very strong on having films that inform the youth 
helping to shape our minds, especially when it comes to career, relationships, very real things that I think that, that I want to do an adaptation for Ama Ata Edu's book, Changes. It's one of my favorite books. And another local author, Evelyn Owusu, The Breath of Fate. And I'm excited about putting those two things together. I've always been very strong on having films that inform the youth, helping to shape our minds, especially when it comes to career, relationships, very real things that I think that now we're very ill prepared for. And even now it's worse because we live our lives on our phones as opposed to learning from others. And so if we don't find ourselves in strategic places where the youth can benefit from what we benefited from because we had the the um, we had the op- the opportunity, sorry, to benefit from interpersonal relationships, then I think that we should be able to position our, ourselves in those places so that the younger generation can also learn these very same things we learned also through our film. So I'm very excited about going into film more on the production side in the near future. Um, I think Ghana is blessed to have a Kumawut and a Gollywood. I'm a big fan, very big fan of Kumawut for so many reasons. I think they tell the real authentic Ghanaian stories, the rural stories that really shape our culture and our mindsets as a as a people. So I find the Kumawut storytelling way a very essential part of our culture and a very necessary part of our culture also. Gollywood is uh, more... Um, they want to tell a more progressive story and you can see people like Shelly from Goman so that has adopted that style and I also think it's a very necessary balance for things because not one particular kind of people exist in Ghana all these people who exist and in as much as I've had a lot of prejudice from both sides I think both are very crucial and they're both driving the film industry very far for uh, Kuma Wood is really the relatability the comic element of it that makes it stand out. And then for Gollywood, it's just really the showcase of where Ghana is going, you know, or how that future is going to look like. That is also very important. So I think for both of them have done a tremendous job in driving the Ghana film industry. And I think that for them to do even more, we need to have more investors, government taking up a more active role because a lot of these countries you see as superpowers have generated a substantial amount of their revenue through filmmaking. And so if our government is able to explore the opportunities of making revenue through film and the creative arts, I'm definitely sure that we'll be onto something that can improve the lives of everyone. It's a very challenged industry in Ghana and it's not the most lucrative. So a lot of real talents that can push Ghana and everything onto the map will not ex- will not explore that because they won't be able to survive on it. And I'm sure that once we have some more money coming into the system to produce great content and for people to live out their truth in filmmaking, I can definitely count on the fact that we'll be onto something and it'll be great. Um, do I have any businesses in mind? I think I've already established my main passion and calling in life is to do film, film, film. However it presents itself, content production is a passion of mine. And hopefully in the future, in the very near, near future, I can do it more seriously. Now I'm more interested in gathering experiences from great people. Um, people like um, Jason Nazi, who is phenomenal in advertising. Russell Any Same. Um, Shadi from Pomman, so Peter Sedufia, Leila Jansi. These are people, even in Ghana, that have inspired me so much to really want to do something in this space creatively. And in film, people like Catherine Bigelow, who, as a woman, directed such like an epic film, Zero Dark Thirty, are people that inspire me and make me believe that look, anything is achievable and anything is possible. So. I'm looking into doing that in the near future on my own. But for now, I want to gather as much knowledge as I can so that when I get there, I have the right experience to make my inputs more valuable. Um, Who's my role model? I have role models for different things in my life. Um, As a woman, my mom is my role model. As a mother, my mom is also my role model. She's a tenacious, strong, virtuous woman, very selfless and very real in her experiences. And I think that that has shaped me into dealing with whatever um, with whatever challenges 
have come my way because I always look at my mom's example and it strengthens me and it encourages me. Um, politics, um, Dr. Zenonto Rollins has been such a phenomenal role model for me. Her strength, her charisma, her resolve, her passion, her commitment to her role and her job and just her, her just her commitment to excellence and service is something that I really, really admire and I aspire to imbibe as qualities in my own life. Um, leadership, oh my goodness, I have so many people that I respect as leaders. But overall, the person that um, embodies all really would be my mom. So yeah, thank you. I can definitely count on the fact that we'll be onto something and it'll be great. Um, do I have any businesses in mind? I think I've already established my main passion and calling in life is to do film, film, film. However, it presents itself. Constant production is a passion of mine. And hopefully in the future, in the very near, near future, I can do it more seriously. Now I'm more interested in gathering experiences from great people. Um, people like um, Jason Nazi, who is phenomenal in advertising. Russell Any same. Um, Shadi from Pomban, so Peter Sedufia, Leila Jansi. These are people, even in Ghana, that have inspired me so much to really want to do something in this space creatively. And in film, people like Catherine Bigelow, who, as a woman, directed such like an epic film, Zero Dark Thirty, are people that inspire me and make me believe that, look, like, anything is achievable and anything is possible. So... I'm looking into doing that in the near future on my own. But for now, I want to gather as much knowledge as I can so that when I get there, I have the right experience to make my inputs more valuable. Um, Who's my role model? I have role models for different things in my life. Um, As a woman, my mom is my role model. As a mother, my mom is also my role model. She's a tenacious, strong, virtuous woman, very selfless and very real in her experiences and I think that that has shaped me into dealing with whatever con- um, with whatever challenges have come my way because I always look at my mom's example and it strengthens me and it encourages me um, politics um, Dr. Zanonto Rollins has been such a phenomenal role model for me her strength, her charisma, her resolve her passion, her commitment to her role and her job and just her her, just her commitment to excellence and service is something that I really, really admire and I aspire to imbibe as qualities in my own life. Um, leadership, oh my goodness, I have so many people that I respect as leaders. But overall, the person that um, embodies all really would be my Hi, my name is Alexandra Ayubiakwa and I play Verilyn in Aloe Vera. Um, how is a regular day for me like? <laughs> a regular day for me is a lot of chores and a lot of work on the professional side. Um, when I wake up in the morning, it's on my feet in the kitchen, making sure my son is fed, he's taking his bath, he's doing what he's supposed to do. So a regular day is usually very chaotic and it's full of chores. <laughs> um, what are the what are some of the challenges I've encountered um, since raising a child? I think is um, fortunately for me, I haven't encountered very severe or dire challenges. Um, I think that most of the opportunities that have come my way, I believe, have come my way because I'm a mother. Um, so honestly, I'm grateful for his um, presence in my life because some of those opportunities, I don't know if without him, I would have been able to have it. So for me, it's been more positive than it's been negative. Um, hmm. What? How long should people date before they get married? I think it really depends on the individual. Some, some people have dated eight years and I wasn't married and after a year it wasn't going anywhere others met six months it was so real it was so intense and so they they're still together I think it's really you know between the two of you if you meet somebody that sees life the same way you do and you guys have the same value systems and you guys really understand each other on a certain level 
then it becomes a very easy thing to do immediately. So I don't know. Me, for me personally, I think I'll do maybe two years, one year just enjoying the dating phase and being courted, and maybe the next year just planning a life together and understanding our family dynamics and how all of that can sync if we are to get married.